Racial equality. Or was his greatest accomplishment providing the NFL with a much needed villain? If there's anything we've ever done that I'm particularly proud of, I, w I would have to say that the uh, perpetuation of the greatness of the Raiders to take a professional football team and give it a distinct characteristic that's different from all others. The autumn wind is a Raider pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. Commitment to uh, excellence. There's a commitment to excellence, the greatest players. We could get the greatest coaches. The great games we've played in, the flame that would burn brightest here is the will to win. Is the will to win. Is the will to win. Your commitment to excellence and your will to win will endure forever. You will magnificent. What's going on? I'm Hardcore Raider. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. We're going to give away this Devontae Adams jersey coming up here in the next week to two weeks. Show you guys the back. It's an awesome jersey. One of my favorites I got. Got the Nike logo. Like, really comfy. So, subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned. Going to do a video to, uh, about the details to win that jersey. So make sure you guys are uh, subscribed so you guys can be part of that. So, you know, the main topic at hand, I want to get into uh, Jared Stidham playing against the 49ers. Absolutely balled out against one of the best defenses, if not the best defense in the NFL. Um, Jared Stidham just had the game of his life. So I want to pull up a screen here. So just uh, bear with me for a second. All right, so uh, right here you can see this is after the Raiders game. But total yards allowed usually is like 303, uh, rushing yards 78, 79 yards. And then uh, they always get a lot of sacks, as you guys can see, 41 total, I mean. So, you know, Niners defense is just no joke. They're just such a good defense and a really good football team. I'm going to pull up Jared Stidham's, you know, stats right here. and We can look at that as well. As you guys can see, Jared Stidham, uh, 23 of 34, 365 total yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions. The second interception was in overtime. He got hit as he was throwing the ball. We're not really focused too much on the rushing because this is about Jared Stidham, but you know, Josh Jacobs went out for a little bit in that game, but for us to have still a total of 135 rushing yards, against one of the best defenses, if not the best defense, is pretty amazing. Devontae Adams right here, seven receptions, 153 yards, two touchdowns, just an amazing game. Devontae Adams absolutely balled out. Jared Stidham absolutely balled out against a really, really good defense. Darren Waller, three for 72. Foster Moreau, three for 55. Matt Collins, three for 40. Josh Jacobs, four for 26. And then Hunter Renfro, three for 19. I would have liked to see Hunter Renfro get a little bit more, but as you guys can see, definitely sharing the ball, passing the ball around to a lot of different wide receivers. And it's not like he's just targeting one guy. So what the Raiders were, do, were able to do, we didn't, you know, get the win, but still just some uh, great stats, 365 yards. That's just mind boggling, you know? So Get into Jared Stidham, overall rating 108.1, and then QBR 77.3. So pretty good QBR. If he had not got that other interception right here and overtime, uh, those numbers would actually be even a little bit better. So pull it up right here, show you guys 67.7 right there. And then here you, here, here you can see the, the QBR. And then as well, he also rushed for 34 yards. So pretty crazy when you look at it from a whole body of work. Jared Stidham did a pretty amazing job against one of the best, if not the best, defenses in the NFL. Up next will be Devontae Adams. I uh, want to break this down. Uh, so here's uh, Devontae Adams' stats right here, as you guys can see. Looking at this, the reason why I want to bring up Devontae Adams is uh, I just wanted to see this overall number right here, 153 total yards, two touchdowns. So I wanted to go through and I want to see what other games he had that he had a, a real big game and see how he did. Uh, eight for 12 and a total of 177 yards and then two touchdowns. That was against the Chargers, the barbecue chicken game, Denver Broncos, 141 yards, two touchdowns, Jacksonville Jaguars, pretty good game, 10 for 17, 146. 
And then I guess we could look at the chart, the first uh, game we played of the year that was against the Chargers, 10 for 17 for 141 yards. So looking at this, the thing that stood out most to me was the fact that today's game against one of the best, if not the best defense in the NFL uh, for 153 yards, he only had one other game this season where it even compared to um, that. And, and so that was against the one against the Chargers down here. So Devontae Adams had his second best game of the year against the San Francisco 49ers today. Just an amazing job by Devontae Adams and Jared Stidham. Uh, you know, next up, I want to hop back into uh, Jared Stidham's stats. I want to concentrate on a few different things, okay? So I want to compare it with uh, some past stats of, of the Raiders and just kind of break this down real quick. So I want to look at total yards. I want to look at completion percentage. And then I want to look at... Um, you know, rating, but most of all, the QBR right here, the 77.3, uh, okay? Right here, I know some people aren't going to want to see this, but I'm going to show it anyways. We'll start with 2022, okay? Here's what I want to look for in 2022. First of all, I want to look at total yards right here, okay? I want to look at this stat, and I want to go down the line, and I want to see if there's any games that even compare to 365 yards. Total yards right here. Derek Carr, Seahawks, 295, uh, 307. Tennessee Titans, 303. And then the Chargers, 295. So looking at all those games where Derek Carr had those you know, yards, none of them are even close to 300 and even 50 yards, let alone 365. So given this year, this is the 2022 year, Derek Carr never threw for as many yards as Jared Stidham just threw against the best defense, if not one of the best defenses in the NFL. And then 67, let's just kind of look at this one right here real quick, QBR. I just want to see if any of them are like Jared Stidham's QBR was 77.3. Looking at it as a body of whole and scrolling down here, I mean, the Broncos, the Seahawks was 80.9. His completion percentage was only 69.4, though. Go down and see if there's any other ones. 84. He only threw for 241 right here. Completion percentage 77.8. I mean, none of these other like games or whatever are even coming close to, in my opinion, the game that Jared Stidham just had. You know, looking at it, curious what you guys think about uh about this and you know your opinion as well. Completion percentage was 67.7. So Derek Carr had a better completion percentage in the Seahawks game, Texans game. But again, like 241, Seahawks game, 69.4, 295, three touchdowns. I think that the Seahawks and the uh, Patriot game was the only games where he threw for three touchdowns. So Jared Stidham had three touchdowns. But all these other games, if you guys look right here, I mean, Derek Carr was not getting, you know, more than two touchdowns per game other than two games. So I'm almost I'm going to say that this game that Jared Stidham just had was better than any game Derek Carr had this entire season. And then I want to go into 2021. So this will be 2021. We'll look at right here. So as you can see up here at the top, 2021, uh, the playoff game against the Bengals, total of 310 yards. Completion percentage was really not good. 53.7, only one touchdown. That's not going to win you games. You got to get more than one touchdown. Preferably at least, like minimum two, at least three touchdowns, okay? All right, next up, Derek Carr did have 40 rushing yards in one game. That was against the Broncos this year. But if you look at 2021 last year, Derek Carr's most rushing yards was only 24 yards. And Jared Stidham had, a, what was it, like 30 or 34 yards? So... You know, pretty interesting. Oh, 34 yards. That's what Jared Stidham had. Uh, pretty interesting that Jared Stidham also almost rushed for more rushing yards than Derek Carr did this year and rushed for more rushing yards than Derek Carr did last year. So again, we're looking for completion percentage. So if we go right here, we're looking for 67.7. And then I want to go down the line of some games that can compare with total yards. So right here, 373 but his completion percentage was only 61.5, only one touchdown, 101.8. That's pretty good. Uh, QBR 84.4. So that's pretty good QBR. That's actually really good. But this one touchdown, 
Uh, we won that game in overtime against the Cowboys, but he should have had more touchdowns than that. So let's see what other games may have compared as far as total yards, like, you know, 350 range. Going down here to the Denver Broncos. Again, this is the year 2021. So this is last year, 341, 66.7. That's pretty comparable. Two touchdowns right here. Rating 134.4, QBR 85.9. So, you know, that that's a really good, uh, you know, QBR stat. Stidham's was only 77.3 for this last game. And then let's check this one out. Miami Dolphins, 386. Completion percentage, 60.5, 95.7 for rating. And then QBR, uh, 71.3. So uh, Jared Stidham's uh, QBR was better this game than Carr's uh, game last year against the Dolphins. And then we'll go into Pittsburgh, 382, you know, completion percentage, 75.7, and then QBR, 86. So that was a really good game against the Steelers. Uh, two touchdowns. Would have liked to have seen maybe one more touchdown there. Uh, and then the Ravens, 435 yards. That was Derek Carr had an amazing game. There was overtime, so that does flood the stats a little bit. Uh, 60.7 completion percentage. And, the, ooh, this looks ugly, though. Uh, QBR 56.6. So, you know, that's that's pretty interesting to me when I look at uh, that. So, you know, I don't know. Uh, you know, looking at it, I mean, you got to go back to – this one doesn't really show you by weeks, but I think it's week 12. You got to scroll down here. You have to go to – this Miami game right here for Derek Carr to have anything close to what Jared Stidham just had. So you have to go back to, this is like in reverse order the way they do it in here, but uh, you have to go back to almost the beginning of the year last year to see a game where Derek Carr had uh, yards that were, you know, pretty comparable or that were more than that. You know, there's some other games you could say this Denver game is like kind of close, but, oh, uh, sorry. No, I missed the Dallas game. Yeah, so mid-season, I guess, you know, uh, you could say almost a year and a half before Derek Carr had a game like Jared Stidham just had. So I don't know. I mean, I know one game is just a sample size and not enough to really show, you know, a whole body of work of what a quarterback can do. And I completely agree and understand that, as well as there's not like actual like tape on, you know, Jared Stidham uh, for defenses to prepare against. But, you know, we played the 49ers, who is, like I said, one of the best defenses, if not the best defense in the NFL. And Jared Stidham just went out and balled out. So I'm curious, you know, what did you guys think of the game? What did you guys think of Jared Stidham? Uh, the stats that I kind of, you know, pointed out there, some things stood out to me. Again, about a year and a half before, you know, Derek Carr had a game like that. So Jared Stidham just beat Derek Carr uh, all of 2022 this year. Derek Carr did not throw for that many yards as Jared Stidham just threw. I know there's other things like Jared Stidham knows the offense a lot better in the playbook. But overall, I mean, Jared Stidham just had a better game this year against the bet like the best defense in the NFL uh, versus Derek Carr the entire season. So pretty mind blowing. One game isn't enough to really know, but I'm just curious what what you guys thought of Jared Stidham, and you know, leave it down in the comments. Make sure you guys subscribe. Appreciate it. I'm Hardcore Raider. There's only one nation, and that's Raider Nation. Hardcore Raider out. Sexual equality, or was his greatest accomplishment providing the NFL with a much needed villain? If there's anything we've ever done that I'm particularly proud of. I, w I would have to say that the uh, perpetuation of the greatness of the Raiders to take a professional football team and give it a distinct characteristic that's different from all others. The autumn wind is a Raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. Commitment to uh, excellence. There's a commitment the to excellence, the greatest players. We could get the greatest coaches. The great games we've played in, the flame that would burn brightest here is the will to win. Is the will to win. Is the will to win. Your commitment to excellence and your will to win will endure forever. You will magnificent.